Hello, Central New York. I'm Storm Team Meteorologist John DePasquale. Temperatures in the uh, well, upper 40s, low 50s, and falling as I speak across most areas as the rain showers push their way slowly but surely to the north. Uh, look at live Doppler 9. You can see we do have that rain overtaking much of Central New York, including the greater Syracuse area. Uh, a little bit scattered still, but it's going to get steadier as we go through the next hour or two as it moves in from the south, that rain. Up toward 104 points north, it is dry. That changes over the next hour or two. Uh, you can see the steadier rain, Cortland, Groton, Moravia, Seneca Falls, Waterloo, a little heavier rain for you. Got a little snow mixing in the higher terrain of the southern tier and the northern tier of Pennsylvania. That will not happen here, thankfully. It's just a chilly, raw rain, thanks to low pressure that is working its way toward western Pennsylvania. This will scoot to our south later tonight and ultimately get out of the northeast late tonight, tomorrow morning. What does that leave us with? This. Some developing sun tomorrow morning into the afternoon. It could be a spotty shower, too, especially in the hills and up into the Adirondacks and Tug Hill. But for the most part, tomorrow is a dry day with uh, intervals of sunshine developing. Time cast shows, again, we've got that steady rain out there this evening evolving for all. It works its way out with just a few lingering showers and some drizzle around by sunrise tomorrow especially near and south and east of Syracuse. Going through the morning, though, we see the green disappear for the most part. We see more clearing take place late morning into the afternoon. Uh, some sunshine. It could be a decent amount of sunshine, actually, east and southeast of the lake with that west-northwest flow, causing a little bit more of a stabilizing factor, a little bit of a lake shadow there. As we go into tomorrow evening, there might be a shower or two near Sodus points west, thanks to a cold front working in this way. That will come through here later tomorrow night and set us up for an even cooler day on Tuesday with maybe a few more scattered showers. Rainfall through early tomorrow morning. Most of us a tenth to a half an inch. All right, lesser amounts the farther north you go of Syracuse, more the farther south you go. Best chance for a half inch or even a little more than that if you get to Cortland and possibly upwards of an inch or so down toward Binghamton. Your seven day forecast shows. Uh, a few more showers popping up Tuesday afternoon, maybe mix a little grout or a few wet flakes of snow, especially in the hills, low 50s with a cool breeze whipping around. It's not going to be uh, feeling that great here on Tuesday, that's for sure. A little sun mixed in at times, too. Uh, Wednesday, cloud, sun, breezy. Uh, it's a nice day overall. Temperatures milder near 60, still cool for this time of year. Beautiful here on Thursday, well into the 60s, plenty of sunshine. More than the way of clouds blending with the sun, maybe an isolated spotty pop up shower here, second half of Friday, low and mid 60s, solid 60s Saturday, slight risk for a pop up shower too, especially in the higher terrain. Well, uh, Sunday looks like a better chance of a few scattered pop up showers. Temperatures hold in the 60s.